Peter Hewitt, La Artistino. Today I thought we'd have a look at metallic pencils. I was thinking this morning just how many metallic pencils I actually own. Most of them come from sets where there's lots of different colours with a couple of metallics at the end. And I have a couple that I've bought, a couple of sets that I've bought, which are just purely metallic pencils. Namely the Derwent's, Derwent Metallic Series, the Mikador, Mikador Metallic Series, uh, which is probably only available in Australia again, just like the Colour Rush pencils. And the Faber-Castell, I've got five of these also as metallic pencils. I've also got five other ones that I'm going to show you. But I thought we'd have a look first at a test swatch that I've created for them in this book. I'll start off here with the Mikador pencils. These come in a packet like this and are probably only available in Australia. So you can go to the Mikador site and order them. These come out quite nicely. They're fairly hard pencils, as, as I find most of the metallic pencils are. They're supposed to be infused with some kind of, I think it's mica or some kind of metallic dust, which gives it a shine. The Mikador ones I don't find to be particularly shiny or metallic looking, but they do have these nice muted colours and they come in this pack of 12. I've been working on picture in Enchanted Forest using them. It's right here. You can see I'm still progressing with this. This has given the picture a lovely range of very muted colours. Not particularly shiny or metallic. I wouldn't say they looked metallic just to look at, but I think they're going to come out quite nice. I'm thinking of covering the page with flushing in some red pastel afterwards to bring all the colours up and make them jump out of the picture a bit. They work very nicely on this paper, but they are hard and you will have to do several layers to get a good coverage with them. But I find they also, particularly these Mikador ones, they do seem to blend all right and I can make some nice colour gradients and colour blending there as you can see. If we look right up at where I've done the deer head here and I've merged several different colours, it looks quite nice. Next, we'll have a look at the Derwent Metallics, these are more artist quality pencil, they come in a tin that looks like this, open them up and there you've got the series with these lovely silver barrels. Now these particular pencils, they lay down quite densely on this paper and keep in mind this is a very heavily textured paper, this is a uh, proper drawing pad, it's a cartridge paper so it has more texture than your average colouring book. So the colours do come down darker on this than they would appear. With the Derwent ones, I found these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coloured pencils were, were fairly nice, fairly soft. But when I came to the metallic ones, these two, which I think are the bronze and I think that's the pewter, were extremely hard and difficult to work with. It was difficult to get a good blending of colour. And these last ones, which was the gold and the platinum and the uh, silver, were quite nice. These ones also are water soluble and I have here a colour chart which uh, shows how they came out when you added water. Again they're not particularly metallic or shiny to look at and certainly any metallic look disappears as soon as you add the water but it's an option you can use. As you can see if I move down here you can see actually no it's the bronze and antique gold sorry which were the hard ones. Pewter is this one and that one's quite nice. Uh, the bronze and the antique gold wore right. Funnily enough, when I um, put water on the, the silver, I got all these red specks that settled out of it as well. I'm not sure if maybe the paper was contaminated, but it seems to me that uh, this hasn't happened on any other sheet of paper in here. So that's something to look out for, that the colour may separate a bit when you add water. I prefer to use these without adding water. Next we have the Faber-Castell, which are these ones. Now, out of all these three to start off with, I found these were the most metallic-like. And they certainly do have a bit of a metallic sheen to them, probably more so with the blue and green than with the uh, purple colour. And uh, these are quite nice, they're not too pricey. And there's five, I think they may come in a set of 12, you may know more than I, if, if so leave a comment below, just tell me if, if they do come in a set of 12 as well. I didn't mind them and out of the three for colouring books, they, these aren't bad, again they're hard pencils, they're not nice soft artist quality pencils, but you can still get uh, some special effects with them. Next we'll go on to the ones that have came with other sets that I have, 
and we'll start with my fun stuff ones now you may have heard me talk about these fun stuff pencils before they're a very cheap brand that I bought from a department store and um, these came out really nice they were very soft and the gold had a lovely gold sheen to it so I liked those ones one thing you will notice is the type of gold differs from pencil to pencil here the fun stuff looks very bronzy gold and up here these ones the gold is also rather a bronzy but it's a bit um, duller and the faber castell goldy color is more of a yellow color moving on we'll see have a look at the marco refines many people have this set now these are the chinese pencils that you can order in the sets of up to 72 and they're quite budget conscious I found these to be a little bit uh, more hard than the fun stuff or any of the previous ones and the colour comes out a bit lighter. You may prefer that for your gold colouring or you might like the dark one. It didn't seem to have as much shine as well as uh, the fun stuff or the Faber-Castell metallics. Next I have the Micador Colour Rush as opposed to the Micador metallic pencils. These came with the pack of 36 Micador Colour pencils, include these. These were lovely and soft and I do like the sheen this one gave as well. I prefer these to the Micador metallic pencils, the ones that were specifically metallic, which seems to be made by a different company. Next, I have the Prismacolor Premiers. Now, here we move into something like a different grade. These. I could really see the gold in this and this has a very lovely shine to it. It does look darker on this paper but um, you can actually see if you hold it up where the others simply look a little bit more gold coloured, this one actually has a kind of a gold leafy look to it where um, you can see the, the yellow gold in there. Finally I have the Mitsubishi Uni 888s. These are a new set of pencils that have just come out and they do include a gold and silver and these are uh, very soft as well and very similar to the Prismacolor Premiers. They, the gold is pretty much undistinguishable from the Prismacolor Premiers and they're quite soft to use as well. Probably one of the softest ones that I've used be the these ones and the Prismacolor Premiers. I'll be doing a review of these pencils in a later video. Okay, and that just about wraps it up for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. A lot of people would prefer just to use gold gel pens to give their gold effects, but if you want to play around with gold pencils, here's a little rundown of my thoughts on them. And please enjoy whatever colouring adventure you are currently on. And until next time, happy colouring! enjoying any colouring adventures that you are currently on and until next time happy colouring!